around the garden and in the North End, where many of the players are very familiar faces. WBC's Gary Broad is live in the North End for us tonight. Gary, I know you visited a business that knows one of the stars very well. Actually, a few of the stars, David. In fact, North End is just a walk away from the garden. So it's really no surprise that so many Bruins call this home. In the process, they've become a fixture in the community, including at this barbershop. Coleman McCarran is getting lined up a few hours before game two. Sitting in the same chair, some of his favorite players have sat before. Yeah, that's kind of how I first saw the uh, place, a bunch of the Bruins on Instagram, seeing, uh, seeing them being tagged here and everything. Manager Matthew Capello has seen many Bruin grades come through, perhaps no greater than future Hall of Famer Patrice Bergeron. When he first came in, it was awesome. It was, I was starstruck. It's like one of the, you know, they're like one of the neighborhood guys. They're on our North Enders now, you know, because they've been here for so long and treat it like their own neighborhood that they grew up in. Bergeron started coming here more than a decade ago and not always for a fresh cut. A couple years back, Bergeron got some ink added to his left arm. Look, Bergeron, too, is one of those, like, he's always been one of my favorite hockey players. He was a big deal in my family. And when the Bees brought home the Stanley Cup in 2011, Boston Barber and Tattoo Company was one of the team's first stops. Milan Lucic, Johnny Boychuk, and Andrew Ferentz all came in for shaves the day after they won the Cup. And then Andrew Ferentz's day with the Cup, he actually brought it around the North End and uh, brought it by the shop. It was a pretty, pretty really cool experience. It sounds like a pretty fun experience there. The manager says he's hoping that they'll stop by again when they win it this year. Uh, guys, just to give you an idea of this barbershop, not only is there a barbershop and a tattoo shop as well in there, there's also a cafe, and at 4 o'clock, it becomes a bar, so you're kind of understanding why so many Bruins players like to frequent here. Reporting live here in the North End, Gary Brode, WBC News.